What does it mean to live together? On this land? In, in this, this place? place? Burnt Thicket Theatre presents We, we Treaty, Treaty People. People. Audio dramas exploring what it means to embrace all our relations. This week's episode was written by Stephen Waldschmidt, performed by Kent Allen, Louise Half, Lancelot Knight, and Abby Thiessen. Directed by Ken McLeod, with dramaturgy by Yvette Nolan. Theme music by Daryl Doslaw, with Jordan Daniels, Marco Kichita, and Donnie Spadell. Recording, editing, and sound design by me, Tim Bratton. And now, recorded on Treaty 6 territory, we bring you Land. Hey, Melissa! Hey, Melissa! Hey! Good morning! Morning! How's it going? Fine! You see it in here already? Too wet everywhere else! What you see in back to canola? Peace! Gotta switch it up! Right! Going okay? Yeah! Till the hoses get plugged! Of course! How's your mom? She's okay! No chemo till fall. That's good. Yep. Better keep at it. Sorry to interrupt. Anytime. Uh, actually, it's my sister. What? My sister. Hang on. Your sister? Yeah, in BC, going through a rough patch. Oh. We've been helping her out. With rent. Okay. Boyfriend left and she's falling behind. Uh huh. She's looking for another job. She lost her job? No, a second gig. She's got four kids. Uh, that's tough. I, I wondered if we could talk about an arrangement. How about this weekend? It's supposed to rain on Saturday. Well, it's kind of time sensitive. I hate to ask. Okay. Could we maybe... What do you need? Just the next rent. How much is your sister's rent? Not hers. Oh? Well, she's four months behind, gonna get evicted, and my mom's mom is living here now. Dental work's a mess and needs implants, but... You're asking for July's rent? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. We, uh... We spent a lot of time talking about those dates. I remember. We agreed... To those three payments, 15th of April, July, and October. I didn't know all this was coming. But I just paid you last month, and my crop inputs have doubled. I hear you. We gotta ship last year's grains to make ends meet. Ugh, costs keep going up. Yeah, trying to keep up with the land rates on the res. Wow, you're funny. Well, this year was pretty steep. I guess. The band approved that increase. Rental rates were low. 100 an acre now? It's good farmland. But 30% in a year? The band needed their 10%, I think. I bet they did. So, what do you think? What if we... talk about a new contract without going through the reserve office? That wouldn't go over. What's Tammy up to these days? Otherwise working. Oh. Cafe finally reopened. Good. Ah, uh, you doing rodeo this year? Ah, uh, doesn't pay without sponsors. Stampedes were cancelled again. That's a shame. You should stop by the cafe. Tammy will treat you. On the house. Thanks. I am curious. What happened to that first payment? Bills piled up all winter. All that in the last month? Uh, our families needed a lot of help, and it's the last time I'll ask. That kind of sounds familiar. We live all year on that rent, and after COVID... I wish I could, 
but we can't afford it until July. Some people would pay a lot more for this land. Uh, which people? I signed a contract with you. Well, I know. And I've ceded half your land. It's just a little early. Two months early? I'm asking for my niece. Is Tammy staying dry? That's none of your business. Did she fall off the wagon? Hi, Albert. How are you? Howdy, Ben. Beautiful morning, eh? Gorgeous. You're up early. I gotta keep an eye on this one. It's nice to see you. Yeah, you too. Glad to hear Jan's feeling better. Yeah. Hopefully the treatments will do their thing. <laughs> uh, you get plugged up? No, he's got a request. It's for my nieces. Oh? For their mom to keep her place. Gotcha. Behind on rent. There's more to the story. Oh, hear him out. That's what I'm doing. How much are we talking? Just a second. Ten grand. Part. Last time I'll ask. <sighs> Why don't I look at the books? I'm handling it, Dad. Yeah, it never hurts to have another set of eyes. To what? Read the contract? The numbers, honey. We all know what the contract says. Yeah. So why sign it then? Hey. They're going to be out on the street. He's looking for someone else to rent to. That's not true. It's Tammy, too. Slow down. Sounds like she's drinking again. No, she's not. Been sober for almost a year now. Well, that's good. Okay, but... I'm getting tired of this. Everyone's dealing with something. And we're not? I have to take this. Really? What is it? I know, Simmons. We can work something out. Drop it, Dad, okay? Hey! Just checking in. We'll talk later. Sorry, I thought it was Dad. Hang on, you Mel. okay? Yeah, we're fine. I got work to You're do. sound upset. No, we're just chatting. You want to risk losing their land? Stop telling me how to do my job. I'll be right there. Don't here. walk away, Don't Mel. come out. Tell him I can do two weeks early, July 1st. Look him no. Six weeks from now? Good morning. Well, hello there. Dance, would you like a donut? Well, what are you doing? Keep quiet. What? What are you doing? I thought our guests might be hungry, you know. Well, I won't say no to that. <laughs> You gonna introduce us, new Sims? This is my nookum, my cookum. Good to meet you, Eve. I'm Albert. Yeah? Uh, pleased to meet you. Name's Albert. Lovely to meet you too, Albert. Thank you for the donut. You're very welcome. Uh, nookum. Did you want this one, Benji? Gonna give yourself the sugar diabetes. Mm. Oh, oh, that's really gooey. <laughs> Come here, Melissa. Who's that? It's my daughter, Melissa. Keep going. What? Mel, shut off the tractor. What? I, Eve can't hear over it. I'm seeing. Just turn it off a minute. Whatever you say. What are they shouting about? She's killing the engine so you can hear. Oh, that's a good idea. Of course. That's better. Yeah. Birds like it too. Mel, come say hello to Eve. Danse. Hello. This is my daughter, Melissa. This is Eve. Nice to meet you. You too. Mind your manners. Want a snack to keep you going? Thank you, but I'll pass. You sure, my girl? Yep, I'm fine. <sighs> Kikwai. She's not your girl. Kikwai. Never mind. It's just... An expression. Right. <laughs> Sorry I didn't have room for double-doubles. Oh, it's really kind of you. What you all fighting about? Not come. Oh. Uh, Here, I have toilet paper in my purse. <laughs> no, no, I'm fine. It's, uh, why don't you go inside? It's chilly. Sun's pretty warm. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Yep. What was, was that a... A mountain bluebird. Yes. I haven't heard that yet this year. 
Such a lovely song, isn't it? That was my mother's favorite bird. She had good taste. Yes. Hmm. Well? So you had a fight, huh? It wasn't a fight. No. More of a uh, discussion. A disagreement. What about? We were talking about... Integrity. My sister. Wow. Sure, your sister. Go ahead. Your sister, Sarah? Yeah, you know what she's going through. Yes. What did you mean by integrity, my girl? Uh, nothing. Just a misunderstanding. Not a big deal. I should get back to the tractor. Look like a big deal from the window. Just talking about how to help Sarah out. That's one part of it. That's the only reason I asked. If a rental contract doesn't mean what it says, then... It's an agreement. But can't we keep talking? That's how everybody else... You've been talking to other farmers? Okay, Mel. Did Ernie Anderson make an offer? Calm down. I'm just asking. No one's talking to me. It's just good land is all I'm saying. You'd rent to somebody else even while we're seeding? I'd never do that. My sister just needs help. Ah, so this fight wasn't a fight. It's about a rental contract, huh? About him breaking that contract. Just one installment. Which we can't afford until July. Look, we had to borrow so much more this year just for seed and fertilizer. And just look at the fuel prices. Melissa. Would you ask this if my dad was still running the farm? Huh? Sounds like you kids could do with a peace treaty. (laughs) That's not funny. Was it a joke, Benji? Sure, a compromise. Nope, a treaty. Like a capital T treaty? Kinda. I have great respect for the treaties. Been learning more about Treaty 6. What are you doing? Well, it's an important uh, part of our history as Canadians. Sad. Yep, yes, parts of it are very sad, but that's changing. Well, sure it is. I mean, we're trying. We? Well, most people are. Schools are. Government. Dad, don't go there. What? They're trying hard in lots of ways. You want to have this conversation? Well, when a huge cargo ship turns around... The government loves to talk change. It takes a long time. Dad. Even the Pope's coming here to Musquachis. Ooh, you can ask him where the $25 million for residential school survivors is. The Catholic Church is raising that money. Oh, my gosh. Well, then how much will they spend on the Pope's visit? How many millions will it cost the Canadian taxpayer? I don't know. You should look it up. Uh, look up Site C downward gas link while you're at it. Hey, elected chiefs approved that pipeline. Not hereditary chiefs. And that gives them a right to block the railways? The only way to get people's attention. Terrorism against all Canadians. Terrorism? Do you know how many billions the economy lost to that? Transportation, oil and gas, agriculture. Never mind the demurrage fees that farmers had to pay at the ports. So we can't defend the land of our ancestors, Fighting but you can But you, you can take the border hostage because you don't like wearing a mask. Hey, those border blockade guys should be in prison too. Mel. Wow. It's something we agree on. Protesting's a human right, not blocking transport routes. Human rights? Like the UN's Declaration of Indigenous Peoples? That's different. Why? Because they're indigenous? The government is is going to implement that UN uh, thing, but it's complicated. The RCMP clear us off our own land all the time, but try breaking up a white... Convoy. Well, they weren't all white. Would indigenous protesters be allowed to take Ottawa hostage? Okay, you have a point. But First Nations people signed over their land to the government in exchange for benefits, right? <sighs> okay, how is this helping? Well, now those contracts were not honored properly. Well, I need but... to smoke. What the hell, Dad? <sighs> Let's go, Nookum. Nookum. Not yet, no Sims. Albert. A treaty's not a contract. It's not worth it. Shh, Benji, shh. A contract is what your daughter has with my grandson, you know. Right. Uh, Treaties are bigger than that. Uh, Agreements between nations. No. My grandparents taught us that treaty is an adoption ceremony. 
Oh? Yes, adoption. Our people made treaty long before the white people arrive to make people their relatives, you know. People who are strangers or enemies. Our creation stories told us that we belong to this territory and Creator called us to be caregivers of this land, you know. Creator gave the treaty ceremony so others can belong with us on this land. Welcome. Listen, no Sims. When strangers needed a place to live, you know, or in starvation, or fighting with other nations, treaty was a way to honor our differences and become family. Treaty gave us the gift to live peacefully on this land side by side, you know, to share the land and be fed by its bounty as relatives. Okay, so, uh, so you're saying treaty means we share the land's resources? Yes, but only because it made strangers belong with us as family, you know. If people are not our relatives, our creation stories say they can't belong on this land. You can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family. Oh, quit acting like you're white, Benji. <laughs> Both of you youngsters need to hear this, you know. Treaty was a good way to bring newcomers into our people's story. The only way for them to come into relationship with this land and its caretakers, Albert and Melissa. Treaty is how you belong, you know. My great-grandparents adopted your great-grandparents into our family. <laughs> I never thought about it that way. Of course you haven't. Doesn't sound like a land purchase. Whatever you call it, indigenous people were betrayed. Choose all my relations, no sims. Family. A family that stabs you in the back. Or family that keeps asking for money. The path to healing includes forgiveness, you know. Oh, there's been enough of that. There's always more. Families forever. So it's not a contract. There are promises that come from the treaties, but that adoption relationship comes first, you know. One of our chiefs, after making Treaty 6, sent a letter to Queen Victoria greeting her as his mother-in-law. Huh. So much history. Most recent treaty was just a couple years ago. Oh? Not just back then? With the Cree Nation in Quebec. Many were made since 2000. In B.C. up north, other nations might see treaty differently than us northern Cree. We have a Treaty 6 remembrance every year to remember that adoption. We do the treaty ceremony with the pipe, you know. We burn sweet grass. The Mounties give us five dollar. Oh, I thought Mounties handing out five bucks was a joke. It should be a lot more with inflation. Ah, don't get me started on that five dollar. Doesn't even get me smokes anymore. But the pipe, the sweetgrass, even the money, they're like road signs. Reminders of our treaty promises to live as family on this land. Sort of like bread and wine from the Last Supper. Wagutun. Relationship, you know. Hmm. So, would your grandparents say we're all Northern Cree people? Oh. No, they would say, now you all belong with us. Treaty doesn't pretend we're all the same. It makes us relatives. Treaty recognizes the space between us. We could use a lot more space. Listen. Honor and respect is the space between us. 
not for defending ourselves. It's space for working together, you know, to do something together we couldn't do by ourselves. Treaty is the creation story of Canada. Hmm. That's really... Wow. <laughs> Sounds like a setup for a land claim. Hey. No doubt things have been done that were wrong, but at the end of the day... No. I... You know all the land claims in court right now add up to the same size as Meadow Lake Provincial Park. And where did you hear that? Google, Google. I don't believe that. Why, it's not on your Facebook feed? Everybody wants to hear what they already agree with. What else is new? I get it. When I come on the res, I can see how the Indian Act is a thumb on First Nations, holding you down. But it's not right, and you feel like a victim. But I feel like a victim as a taxpayer. The only way to stop being a victim is to take action. Okay, get to work and make something better and quit complaining about the past. Complaining? The system's broken, okay? But you gotta work within it to get your voices heard. I thought you called that terrorism. Come on, I'm not talking about blockades. What's the voting rate on the res? See, you've grown up being told that your voice will be heard. Yeah, but... Like your whole life. You've watched people who look like you lead everything. Of course you think you can change things. What if the opposite was true? And for hundreds of years. Okay, I'm a woman living in a man's world. A white man's world. Fine. So get rid of the Indian Act. My girl, that's the only thing protecting our treaty rights. That's why the feds keep trying to cancel the Indian Act. We need self-government in place first. Yeah. Like the Muskwichi School Division. It's brilliant. Independent from band council, led by First Nations educators here, equal funding per student in Alberta, should happen on every reserve. It's good, but that takes time. And money. Uh, Which political party is actually going to fund a transition to Indigenous self-government? Well, start a new party or get the band's money behind it. Oh, that's complicated. You want to talk about the Fed's Indian money policy? Uh, They treat us like children and make a killing investing our oil and gas royalties. Okay, so individuals should put money behind it. I can't even get a line of credit to help my sister. Put up your land as collateral. My girl, the Crown owns all this land. What? Read the Indian Act. It's on the reserve. The Crown can take this land any time they want. What? It's not really our families, not the bands either. Hang on. Reserve land belongs to your tribe by treaty rights. Only ours on the pleasure of the Crown. You can't sell it, can't borrow against it. I find that hard to believe. But can't the band sell land? If the Crown approves. Uh, have you tried asking for a loan at the bank? Banks can't take reserve land as collateral because of the Indian Act. Who else knows this? Every Indigenous farmer, that's for sure. If that's the case, (laughs) talk about government overreach. Welcome to our world. I'm giving Rick a call today. Ona? Who? Our MP. This is not okay. Yeah, we should make some noise about this. You'd like to fix it? Well, we should do something. It's really disappointing. It's shit is what it is. That's got to change. You think you can change it? For now, it's enough for you to feel that disappointment, that anger, that grief, to feel what it's like for us, you know. Feelings don't help. They sure help me. Feelings are fuel, you know, and a little patch of common ground. Hmm. Feelings aren't helping my sister. No, Sims. No, I I hear you, Ben. Do you? I, um... There's more donuts here, you know. Oh, Oh. thanks. (laughs) Melissa? Sure. Why not? Maple cream? That's my favorite, actually. Mine, too. Thank you. 
Ooh, that'll wash out. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of cream. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's, it's, it's on your nose. Oh, better? Uh, well... Ah. You got it, my girl. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, how about we, we look at the books tonight, Mel? Dad? Well, we can get creative. We would for family. We'll see. Thank you. You bet. No, I really appreciate it, and it would be a lifesaver for my nieces. I can't promise anything yet. Well, guess I'd better get back to it. Of course. I hope it goes quick. Thanks. Hey, apologies for yelling. That's, that's okay. Look, me too. We're good? Yeah. Well, how you doing for seed and all? Fine. Uh, can you fill up the Super B? Will do. Great. And I'll call you tomorrow, Benjamin. Thanks. Drive safe. We'll see you later. I'll say a prayer for your mom, for Jen. Thank you. Yeah, it means a lot. Uh, thank you for speaking with us, Eve. And for the donuts. Hey, hey. Yeah, take care. My stash. You. Ow. Don't tell me not to come out of the house. Okay. Ouch. Thanks, Nakam. Come on. You can buy me a coffee. We Treat You People is a production of Burnt Thicket Theatre. Support our work with a donation and learn more about the artists at burntthicket.com. Special thanks go to the Canada Council for making this project possible. And to our season sponsors, Shercom Industries and SK Arts. This work was gratefully created on Treaty 6 territory and on the homeland of the Métis. Join us next time for a conversation with the artists about this episode of We Treaty People. <laughs>